Hello everyone, uh, myself Vinod Kumar Reddy Habatam. Today we are going to talk about how we are going to implement a complete project in Azure Data Engineering Process Flow. Here we will be using Azure Data Factory, uh, Databricks um, and Data Lake uh, actually for implementation of the solution. In this video, um, I will talk you about how it works. In the next video, I will <coughs> talk you about, uh, uh, walk you through the code uh, that I have written uh, for implementing this particular solution. Okay, so uh, if you could see um, in this diagram, so uh, previously I used to talk about um, getting the data into bronze, silver, and gold. This is the lake house concept that we have done for the Databricks. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about in um, in a real-time scenario, apart from bronze, silver, and gold, what else will be there and how we are gonna uh, implement the things. <clears throat> Let's say you have um, multiple sources um, in your uh, day-to-day uh, -day work uh, like you will have Oracle, you will have uh, some on-premise server, you will have SFTP and also you will be using uh, IoT devices. So in this particular case, we'll be using a data factory basically to um, fetch the data. So this is the source zone and we'll have a landing zone and we'll have a branch, silver, gold. People can serve, uh, can be served, the reports can be served both from the silver or the gold. Okay. Apart from these uh, zones, we will have a data, uh, databases created for logging and also we will have uh, tables created for lo uh, logging the <coughs> bad data. So in a real time scenario, once you get the data, uh, once the data is ready in the source, we'll be using a data factory for doing a copy activity to a landing zone. In the landing zone, you will have, so you will have a metadata table which is dynamically configured saying these are the files to be um, brought to the landing zone on a daily basis at a particular time. So you will be fetching those data and pumping the data into the landing zone. Once the data is in the landing zone, landing zone is nothing but a folder in a data lake. So uh, you can see um, uh, in the Databricks uh, for the IoT Hub, I try to use the Databricks has this uh, <coughs> thing uh, to fetch the data and pump the data into the landing zone. In other cases, I have used um, a data factory but data factory also support APIs to fetch the data you can try to use that as well there is no restrictions on uh, what to use when whichever is possible you can use that somebody uses Azure functions as well to fetch the data and uh, that works as well okay so the data once the data is in the landing zone uh, we'll be um, actually having all the data ready then from the landing zone we will be uh, pumping the data to the bronze zone. So what all things we'll be handling while pumping the data to the bronze zone? So we will be defining the structure for each table that we are going to load into your bronze zone. Uh, the structure is completely defined and we'll be uh, having the metadata validation. And uh, that is the structure metadata validation. Based on the metadata validation, we will be redirecting the correct rows are the bad rows. If there is a bad row which is not um, matching the metadata, then we'll be pumping that data into the bad data table, um, which is again a delta table, which is from here the delta table starts. That table will be stored in the data lake again. So that will be rejected over here. Uh, some of the projects, they may uh, want to reject the rows, bad rows. Some of the projects, they don't want to reject the rows, so you can fail first. Some of the projects, they want to ignore the bad rows, so you can ignore as well. So those three things you will be doing here. One of the things you will be doing here. 
okay in the branch zone it will be always truncate and load the good data will be truncated uh, existing data will be truncated and the good data will be loaded into branch zone for each table again we'll be trying to use a metadata table over here to find out which file goes into which table based on the structure so once the data is in the branch zone now uh, we'll be actually formatting the data uh, and cleaning the data and pumping the data into the silver zone so while loading the data into the silver zone will be mainly there will be a lot of things uh, that we can do uh, you can actually uh, here will be it will it will be always upset insert and update rather than uh, truncate because i need a complete history in one of the tables since we are not maintaining here we will be maintaining it here we'll be doing the uh, data validations like removal of duplicate removal of null if required or any other transformations that is required like merging data from multiple sources uh, say there are uh, the sales data is coming from uh, multiple systems so you want to merge you can merge the data and put it into one table over here so or uh, you have to uh, join and fetch the information from other tables you want to do any kind of transformation you can do in the silver <clears throat> so we'll have to find out a unique key or a primary key basically for doing the upsets and you cannot insert a duplicate row for doing upsets we'll be using the merge command for loading the data into the silver zone over here this will be again in the data lake as well delta lake sorry so once this is done so here we have cleaned the data we have done everything so now for lo loading into the gold so if you have really 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 big data and you want things to be very faster you can use synapse uh, dedicated pool for creating the data mod and loading the data into uh, a dedicated pool which actually is a very good thing or you can if you have medium data this is also a mpp uh, machine since we are going to use spark cluster to fetch the data in the delta lake um, as well so we can use uh, databricks delta lake as well there is no problem with that as well but this is mpp distributed and stored already but acts as a sql which is very powerful this is also powerful there is no issue with that so you need to create a particular model and you need to transform the data and then you need to load the data into the gold zone so once the data is in the gold zone then see there are many many um, uh, teams where advanced analytics and all they don't want to do this they will be directly consuming the data for doing the machine learning stuff and we'll be just loading the data um, and then we can use this data to display it in the power bi so you can see everything all the data is stored in again the data lake gen2 and uh, except the synapse one so everything is stored in the data lake gen2 so if you see if all the orchestration is done in the data factory so uh, but if you don't want to do the orchestration in the data factory you can do that in the delta lake as well there is no issue because you can access the delta lake of the data bricks uh, in the data factory as well actually so that's how the things are so you will be having the source landing bronze silver gold and then the consume layer and you will have metadata validation you have bad data validation you will be um, uh, actually scheduling every all the process flow using the uh, orchestration will be done using the data factory or else you can now um, uh, databricks has introduced workflows you can use the databricks as well to uh, actually uh, do that orchestration as well so this is how the complete uh, flow works in the next videos i will try to um, explain about the code and that i have written for achieving this complete thing and how it's gonna handle uh, all those stuff so this this actually will be very very 
helpful um, if at all if you want to consider um, Azure and Databricks for your implementation. Thank you so much guys. Uh, see you in the next video uh, with the code explanations. Thank you. Bye-bye.